Hello everyone, Louis here one more time, bringing upfront creative content for CG artists. And this is actually the second episode of my series for weekly uh, Blender add-on reviews. Uh, so probably every Friday or every end of the week, I'll be posting this um, in partnership with Blender Nation for, for fresh Blender news and Blender development. Uh, updates check the site below so today I have a special add-on from Benjamin Souder he ported a famous um, Maya tool that was really um, used for low-poly workflows called setflow uh, add-on and this tool as you can see here uh, has lots of good functionalities and uh, everyone, I think pretty much every beginner has stepped upon a problem that you were making a low poly uh, cylinder or a low poly rounded ring and you thought that, well, maybe those loops are too low poly. Maybe I should increase the, um, the edge count a little bit. So what I did right now is I kind of uh, added more segments to this different middle loops here and now if i use the set flow add-on voila we have a rounded uh, ring and we can also control that with the tension parameter on the t panel uh louis why are you using 2.79 well, uh, it's actually simple. This add-on is currently being developed and actually being waiting for the 2.8 branch to become official so it can be ported there. So don't worry, uh, this will be in 2.8 uh, as soon as we can get the code freezed. Now, another user case is if you have a cylinder. Let's say you're playing around making a futuristic grenade and you already have UV unwrapped this form. But, well, your art, art director said, well, probably this could be rounded again. And, well, you're fucked. No, not actually. You can get this back. So if we select this guy here, it will also calculate the tangent between these two flows and voila we have that sphere back again so we have we can apply that right here and apply that right here set flow and have a perfect sphere back to its perfect roundness uh this is basically what the um uh, this add-on does and it's pretty simple but really efficient for low poly and well uh there's another thing about edge flow here let's say you have a edge that's not really centered between two constraint loops you can also use the set flow to calculate that space and center that loop again so yeah lots of functionalities here now let's say you have a blade or a type of mesh that really needs attention in special care to the to, to the overall silhouette and the form of the shape uh, one thing you can do to smooth out the shape is using the specials menu, which is stable, and clicking smooth to do that. Uh, the problem is that it shrinks the mesh in an unwanted way, right? You, you can, of course, click Alt-S again um, to try to shrink that to the original size. Therefore, uh, with the set flow add-on, you can kind of replicate a controlled smooth. So you can apply smooth to specific uh, edges, you know, and calculate that on a specific order that only by this type of comment you'd be able to accomplish. You know, uh, if you try to apply a smoothing to uh, to a edge using the legacy smooth, you not have 
you have uh, limited controls here. You can see uh, I don't get the, the same averaging that the set flow add-on gives, you know, it, it really calculates uh, the distance between the vertices and averages then to make the most optimal position. Now, if you select two and also press set flow, you can see that we have even more optional way and you can, of course, you can get some creepy results as well but you need to use this with some efficiency in mind uh, even with the minimal angle here now last but not least let's say you have a rounded tube such as this one here and you want to straighten just this part of the tube to be uh, set as linear so you have a, a sharp a corner and not a rounded one well you can use the set linear option as well so let's say we select this these rings here maybe this one's control e and instead of using the set flow option we use set linear and look now we have a perfect straighten uh, corner and this is really useful as well. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is not using uh, anything related to the Cephalo or set linear operators, but rather the legacy smoothing operator because you can use the smoothing operator to uh, round it some graphs such as this one here. So if I click it, you can see we can use we can toggle different axis options for only to be smooth it. So I will leave it to smooth only the Z axis and control the repeat smoothing operation until we have something like this. And then we can set that back to its place. And that's it guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my Twitter, also uh, subscribe below and I'll be posting more tips every week. Um, until next time, woohoo!